Hello everyone, welcome to How Fix It. Today, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on replacing a worn out or dead battery on the iPhone 13 Pro. This video will also be useful if your iPhone's battery health is less than 80% and draining fast. It's probably the best time to replace the significantly degraded battery to restore full performance and capacity. Before we get started, let's go over the tools you'll need. A screwdriver set, plastic pry tools, tweezers, a suction cup, the screen disassembly tool, waterproof sealing tape, and battery adhesive strips. Links to all tools and parts are in the video description below. For the best results, I advise using a magnetic mat to organize screws and small parts throughout the disassembly process, especially for repairing a device like an iPhone 13 Pro. This will make the reassembly much easier and you don't have to worry about the screws getting lost. They will all securely adhere to the magnetic mat. So, let's get started. Power off your iPhone. Using the pentalobe screwdriver, remove the two screws located at the bottom of the iPhone. Using a hairdryer or a heat gun, apply heat to the bottom edge of the iPhone for about one minute. This softens the adhesive, making it easier to separate the screen. Be cautious not to overheat the phone. Attach a suction cup near the bottom edge, pull up gently, and insert the blade edge into the gap. Apply firm, steady pressure to create a slight gap between the screen and the body. If the screen is cracked, cover it with packing tape to contain any broken glass and make a better grip for the suction cup. Insert a plastic spudger into the gap to begin separating the screen from the adhesive. If the adhesive is stubborn, apply more heat. Carefully slide the plastic spudger around the edges of the iPhone to separate the adhesive seal, taking extra care not to insert the spudger deeply to avoid damaging internal components. Next, heat the top edge of the iPhone. This step is crucial as the adhesive near the front sensors is particularly strong. Gently slide the spudger around the top right corner. Be careful not to insert the spudger more than three millimeters to avoid damaging the sensors. If your screen is cracked, wearing safety glasses is also a good idea to protect your eyes from loose glass. Gently open the iPhone like a book, but don't fully separate the screen yet. Ribbon cables are still connected. Remove the screws securing the battery and display connector covers. Use a plastic spudger to pry the battery and display connectors up from their sockets on the logic board. Remove the screen. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws securing the loudspeaker to the frame. Carefully slide tweezers or plastic spudger between and separate the Taptic engine and the adhesive backed strip. Remove the loudspeaker. Pry up the Taptic engine cable with your spudger, then remove the screws securing it to the frame. Remove the Taptic engine. The battery is secured with three pieces of stretch release adhesive. There are two strips on the bottom edge and one on the top edge of the battery. To remove the battery, you need to carefully pull these adhesive strips. Use tweezers to peel down the black pull tab at the end of the adhesive strip. Remember, very carefully use sharp tools near the battery to avoid puncturing it. Using blunt nose tweezers to grab the pull tab and slowly pull it away from the battery towards the bottom of the iPhone. Be patient. Pull slowly to allow the adhesive to stretch and release.
If an adhesive strip breaks off and you can't retrieve it, apply a small amount of isopropyl alcohol under the battery where the adhesive is stuck. Wait a minute. Then gently pry the battery up using a wide plastic spatula. Remove the battery. I have included links to the new battery for the iPhone 13 Pro in the video description below. It's time to reassemble your iPhone. Start by reinstalling the Taptic engine and loudspeaker. Now it's time to install the battery. Start by attaching adhesive strips to the back of the battery. These strips will hold the battery securely in place while still allowing for easy removal if you need to replace it again in the future. Carefully place the new battery into the housing, ensuring that the battery cable connector aligns perfectly with the socket on the main board. Once in place, press down slightly to secure the battery with the adhesive strips. Now that it's all back together, let's test your iPhone to ensure the functioning of the new battery. After starting your iPhone, you may see a message saying, unable to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple battery. Don't worry, this can appear even if you've installed an original Apple battery. You can safely ignore this message, it won't affect the phone's performance. However, please note that you will no longer be able to view information about the battery's maximum capacity in the battery health section. Everything else will work just fine. If you're wondering how to remove the battery service message on your iPhone, I'll be covering that process in another tutorial. You can find the link to that tutorial in the video description below. Now that we've confirmed the battery is working, let's proceed to the final steps of restoring water protection and completing the reassembly. To restore the waterproofing of your iPhone, you'll need to apply waterproof sealing tape around the frame. Start by removing any old adhesive from the frame.
Use isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab to remove any remaining smaller bits of adhesive. This is also important for better adhesion of waterproof sealing tape. Carefully align the adhesive sealing tape with the iPhone frame and press it into place with a spudger. Once the tape is in place, grab the small pull tab and peel off the front liner to expose the adhesive. First, connect the display cables and then connect the battery cable. Press the display down around the entire perimeter to secure its position. Fasten the last two screws near the charging port to complete the assembly. If you found this guide helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and guides. Visit our website for more tech insights and do-it-yourself guides. Remember, every tech challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. The repair is complete. You were on How Fix It. Thanks for watching and see you next time.